what's up you guys welcome back to my channel today i'm filming two videos so please don't get all at me for having the same outfit in like two videos in a row so yeah today we are gonna do or actually not we because it's pretty much just me you're watching i am doing the fall tag i saw steph do it and i haven't done a tag video in so long i absolutely love fall i would just really 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 wanted to do something fall-esque while we still have fall. So let's jump right in. Favorite fall lip color. Um, this one's a little bit of a tough one for me. I'm currently wearing Lolita by Kat Von D's Everlasting Liquid Lip Color, Liquid Lip Stain, lip, Liquid Lipstick, can't remember what it is. This I wouldn't necessarily say is my favorite fall color because I kind of wear it all year round. <laughs> so not exclusive for fall even though I am wearing it right now. I wore this one the other night. This one is very old. This one is from Sephora. It is the cream lip stain in... I don't even know what color it's in. Um, it is like a dark cherry. I really do like the dark burgundy, like dusty. I had a dusty rose one that was beautiful from Urban Decay and I can't find it. I also have started to shy away from lipsticks just because it comes off. I like this lip stains because they tend to last longer, which this is. Um, this is another one from Sephora, which I think I based this one off of. Um, this was one of the very first lipsticks I ever bought, so I uh, probably should throw it out. Um, this is the Rouge Shine. This is the Rouge Cream Stain. So I'm pretty sure I went to go get this because I love this one so much. I do, I'll post a uh, picture from my previous video actually and from me wearing this the other night. I love these like deep bur like burgundies, reds, the auric going the other way, the dusty rose. And the browns, those are kind of like my, which it pretty much are all fall colors, but um, yeah, I just, I used to like hoard lipstick and never wear it, but yeah, you don't need to know that. <laughs> Favorite nail polish. Um, I love nail polishes. You guys may or may not know that I wear white and a taupe for most of the summer. Um, I pretty much wear white whenever the fuck I want because I just love white nails. I think it looks so pristine. Um, I got paint on my nails because I painted my room, but I think I might, if I can get it off with uh, some nail polish remover, I might do my nails tonight. This is my favorite fall one. This is in a stone absolutely love it. It's by OPI. It's called Set in Stone. I just love this like dark gray. It is, it is like a, it is a gray. Um, the other one I have is like a purpley taupe. It's a little bit lighter than this one, um, which is why I wear it in the summer. But I just, I love this one. I got really, really into like grays and taupes last year. I absolutely love it. I'm not really a color on my fingers person. I'm more of a color on my toes. I think I'm gonna watch a movie tonight and put this on. Favorite Starbucks fall drink. Okay, I am a Christmas drink person at Starbucks. I am 110% waiting on that chestnut praline latte to come back because it is my favorite. But around fall, no, I'm not a PSL person, do not like pumpkin spice, don't really like pumpkin anything. Um, I actually have with me a salted caramel mocha with soy, lactose over here. I like this because it kind of is the mocha twist on the hot chocolate that I get all the time, which has a pump of toffee nut in it. And I'm, so really, like, like I was saying, I am the Christmassy drink, but I'm also the like special limited time offer drink. So when they had the like crystal ball frappuccino, I never got to try the unicorn frappuccino, but I think there was a zombie frappuccino that I loved. Right now there is a witch's brew frappuccino and I didn't get it because I really wanted this, but I might get it tomorrow on my way to work because I really, really, really want to try it. And I love when they do fun stuff like this, 
The crystal ball frappuccino, I think nothing is ever going to top. I just love that peachiness in it. But I really want to try this one. It's like pink, or it's not pink, it's like purple and green. And I just love it. I just, I am. I'm the person who's like on that train. I'm jumping on that bandwagon because I just love it. I don't even do it for the gram. Like I just, I love it. I think it's so fun. But my go-to, I guess, fall specific, not really, you can order it all year round, it just doesn't come with salt, is the salted caramel mocha. Favorite fall candle. This one got me really, really excited and I'm actually even more excited because I went to Canadian Tire earlier and finally bought a barbecue lighter. I'm like kind of nervous with matches and lighters when it comes to lighting candles. This one, actually I have two here. so. They're both from Bath and Body Works. This one is Sicilian Orange. My friend Anna gave it to me. Um, I have not used a whole lot of it because when I lived at my old house, I wasn't allowed to light scented candles, but I love this one. It's called Sicilian Orange. It's one of their three wick candles. And it just like, it smells like an orchard or I, I know that this is probably more of like a spring scent, but it just like has this really like crisp, natural, fruity smell. And I'm not really a big fruity person because I find that they can be really, really strong. I accidentally bought a cherry, black cherry Merlot scented wallflower and it's so strong, it's almost disgusting. I can't even, it would stink up my entire apartment and like eight other people's apartments. This one, is also actually not really a fall candle. This one is one of their seasonal ones for the holidays. Um, it is a little fall, look at that picture. That's like totally on the cusp of like coming into winter, kind of. So my mom got this for me for Christmas last year and I haven't used it yet, so I'm very excited. I have that lighter, I'm gonna light it and it's gonna be great. But I just, I love the very natural scented ones, like first snow and like, I think one of the ones I, ones I had this summer that I loved were like Bermuda waters. Like I just love those very natural, fresh scents. And you know, it's just like a little hint of something else. This one is definitely kind of like a wood burning, like middle of the forest cabin-y feel and it's called flannel. Favorite fall scarf or accessory? I have one of each. I love it when the weather gets cold because beanies are my favorite thing ever. This is my favorite beanie. It says bad hair day. I pretty much, I bought it online. I got the idea from Zoella. She has one and I just, I love this. I love it. I've had this hat for so long and I love it. I love beanies. I like, I really just like hats and stuff in general but I also love scarves and this one is my favorite because it is really big and I love infinity scarves. This one is in burgundy and I really like just the look of pure coziness. Like I feel like this is just a look of coziness and I love it so much. I have so many scarves. I have two giant double infinity scarves from Lululemon, both in gray. Um, I have some other like smaller ones that I definitely think more accenty style, but this one is my favorite because it is just so big and I just love feeling so wrapped up in it. Haunted house, haunted hayride, or haunted cordonets. I think I'm gonna have to go with the haunted house out of the three of them. Um, I've done all three, but I find that the haunted hayride it kind of takes away from it being on the hayride and then most of the time you're with a whole bunch of other people. Unfortunately for some haunted houses, they kind of force you all through as a huge group as well, but I find if it's done really, really well, that's probably my favorite. Favorite fall movies. Oh my gosh, okay. So one of the guys that I follow on Instagram, been following him forever. Um, I will actually leave his Instagram in the comments because he is amazing. Every single October, he does this like 31 days of spooks and sketches and he watches Halloween horror -y movies and draws them he, like he's a he's such a cute artist his art is so adorable and i realized a few years back i hadn't actually seen a lot of the films that he was doing a lot of the classics like even evil dead um 
Freddy vs. Jason, Friday the 13th, like stuff like that. Um, I'd never actually seen those, so I went back and I watched a few of them. But as for my favorites, I don't... I honestly haven't watched a Halloween-oriented movie in a very, very long time. And while I'm watching me edit this video, here's your reminder. Watch Halloween. Favorite candy to eat on Halloween? Oh, I am a huge sweet tooth. Like, oh, really, 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 really bad. Especially when it comes to my time of the month, especially when I'm on like a three day overnight weekend, which I am starting tomorrow. I tend to really, I, I eat way too much candy. Um, better now than I was before, but I honestly don't think I could pick a favorite. I love Smarties, I love Kit Kats, I love Oh Henry's, Reese's Pieces, um, Wonder Bars, I like the Hershey's, specifically the Cookies and Cream. You know, I'm actually not the biggest fan of Arrows and Caramilks, it's just, I don't know, I find that those ones are kind of like a little bland. I have a Kit Kat bar in my fridge right now. <laughs> yeah. What are you dressing up as for Halloween? Nothing! Me, a nudist on strike, a, a homicidal maniac, because they look like everybody else. I did see a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man costume that I kind of really, really, really wanted. <laughs> Maybe next year. What is your favorite thing about fall? I really just love, I love the temperature, I love the changing colors, I love the I love both the sunny, colorful changing, like prettiness of it, but I also love the rainy, the gray, the dreary, the cloudy. I just, I love both of it. And I love that you get both when it comes to fall. I love the crisp air. I love just the fresh, it, it just smells fresh, right? Most of the time, depending where you live, hopefully it doesn't smell bad. But I do just really, really love that it just and it always just feels like i don't know what it is about me for this year last year and possibly the year before um stuff always happens to me in september like not good stuff so fall is kind of like this huge just like let it go it is unfortunate because my seasonal depression kind of comes out fall and winter but it is really just kind of like a let everything go. The year is coming to an end. Just let it die. You know, let it fall to the ground, get buried in snow and be reborn in the new year or something. It's just, it's just such a good feeling and it feels cozy and it feels great. And that's what I love about fall. All right guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that little bit of like a fall tag. Nobody tagged me, I did it because I do whatever the fuck I want. So I'm gonna just tag all of you to do it uh, if you want. I'm not gonna make you do anything. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. All of my social links are in the description box below. I'm your girl Halesk. You can find me anywhere. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more from me because I'm about to go and film another video. So make sure you're subscribed to see more from me and I will see you guys soon as I'm filming another video in literally like 30 seconds. All right, bye guys. I hope you enjoy fall. Maybe comment below and tell me what your favorite season is. There we go. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.